welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun video for you guys and I kind of wanted to dress the part because this review or this person that collaborated with this makeup company is such an icon to me and so amazing. So I wanted to dress like her, yes. The video is about Nicki Minaj and MAC Cosmetics. They did a collaboration, so I wanted to like dress a little part. Like I kind of like miss dressing up like all crazy, so I'm so excited about Halloween. But today's a fun video is a Nicki Minaj MAC Cosmetics review. I had this latex outfit from House of CB and this little coat from House of CB. It is so hot, so I'm gonna take it off, but I wanted to dress the part and you know, do a little Nicki vibe. And these shades, I bought them for my Halloween costume. You guys will see a Halloween tutorial really soon. But um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Erika. I talk about all things fashion and beauty and glam and also health and fitness. I'm very, very into fitness as well. So if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, click on the subscribe button below. Also click on the little bell so you'll receive a notification every time I upload a video. I am going to take this jacket off right into the review. All right, so let me just show you guys the promo photo that MAC gave me and look how cute she looks so she's wearing this peach latex top and this latex jacket or coat i need to get one of those i do have a clear one like that but love 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 her latex outfit i am a huge huge fan of latex which is why i wear a lot of latex i probably have i don't know 25 latex dresses but i will be doing a full review on latex dresses as well like i collected so many i even got a new one today so i have a latex obsession this is her cute cute gorgeous actually sexy campaign and all the products are over here, but I'm gonna actually show you guys all the products because I got the cutest box. So there are 24 items in this collection, so I'm gonna show you guys everything. So this is the huge box that I got it in. It is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. MAC Nicki Minaj. I actually unboxed this in my Instagram story, but you know, I have to show you guys on YouTube because we're gonna swatch all of them and try it all on my lips so you guys can see how it looks. So everything will be available September 21st so this is the cutest PR package look at that she looks so hot like oh my god I love this so I'm gonna keep this and there are two lippies on the top look at this collection though so these two are the Nicki Minaj lipsticks and this is the first color this is the pink print it's a beautiful pink color like a light nude and this one retails for $17.50 in the US and $22 in Canada. So I'm gonna try this on. My very first color of the collection. Obsessed, and this is the Amplified Lippy. I almost wanna literally just wear this out right now because it totally goes with my dress and it just looks so cute. Ah, oh, everything, love it. And the packaging is Nicki Minaj and it is a limited edition. The packaging is Nicki Minaj and so cute and has her signature on it as well. The next one is also an amplified cream lipstick and this one is called Nicki's Nude. It's a corally color. And if you guys are not familiar with MAC lipsticks, amplified lipsticks are not as matte. They have like a little bit of a sheen to it. This one's more of a brighter color than the last one. It has like the little orangey look. Those are two of Nicki Minaj lipsticks. Now we are going to go into the full collection over here. There's a lot of them, so we're gonna try to speed through this. So the first color I picked up is called Gossamer Wing. It is a luster lipstick. And this one looks like a shimmer, pearly white, literally like just like a light 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 shimmery color it says on the sheet that it's a dirty beige with gold pearl this is a luster and it almost shows up as sort of a sheer look so I don't really see it too much as like a lip lipstick lipstick where it's like a color it's kind of just like a shimmery look to put on top of your natural lip I love it though I don't have any lipstick like this the next color is called 2n it also is a luster and looks like that pearly color it is described as a creamy light pink so this one is like a pale light nude um, it almost has like a white look so if you like that really like white light lip look, um, I used to always wear concealer um, when I was like maybe in high school and college like as like a lippy and it kind of reminds me of that look. It does have a cool tone 
feel. The next color is Bare Bling. This one is like a true light nude, kind of on the brownie side of nude. They describe it as a light peachy nude, and it is an amplified. This is like a true nude. I do feel it's like a little too light for me. Pretty, but I don't know if I would like reach for this as the only color that I would wear. I would probably combine it with like a darker, pinkier, or like a corally nude and put it in the middle. So the next color is Creme de Nude, and I actually own this lippy. So two of the colors are Nicki Minaj's main like line, the Nicki. Nicki Minaj lipsticks and then the other ones are actually part of like the Nicki Minaj nude collection but it's their permanent colors that are with MAC and then they grouped them into like a Nicki Minaj collection. And this is a soft nude. They describe it as a pale muted peach beige. It is a, definitely a pale and a muted color. Also a cream sheen lipstick. So I feel like cream sheen is in between an amplified and a luster. It's like sheeny, lustery. It's like a pretty nude. It's like a dinner nude. I feel like if you wear it and then it fades, it still like it looks fine. It's not like fading or like spotting in one place. And then if you eat, it's still kind of on. And then when you put it on, you could always touch it up and it'll look kind of like not dramatic, if you know what I mean. So it's a good, good, good lippy to have as a staple. The next color is the right note. It's described as a warm, sandy nude. It's also a cream sheen. I just love peachy tones. It's like glossy, but like squished into a lipstick. The next color is called Derriere. If you do not know what that means, it means but. <laughs> and it's actually a brown color. In, in the MAC description, they call it a dirty mid-tone yellow brown, and this is a matte. So this is going to be dark and very pigmented. Um, It's cute. It's definitely like not really a, a color that I think I would wear in person it looks a little bit i don't know brown to me like i just i don't know i i love browns but i like more of a dark, like a super dark or like a, a true brown that's not so warm tone i feel like it's a little bit too warm tone for me even though i like warm tone colors i feel like i need more of a true brown or like a more very you know look so i don't really love it too much on the viewfinder it actually looks better on the screen than in person it is very very warm if you guys are a brown girl and like very you like caramel and stuff like that you'll like this i personally think i look weird with it but um it's called derriere and if you like it and if you like browns you may like it the next color is japanese maple and if you guys did not know i am a japanese so i'm like excited to try this um i think i actually have this and i do love it and i have it in another collection actually I think they did like a cherry blossom collection. I don't really remember exactly what it was, but it was something like that and I have this. Let's try it again. And this one is a cream sheen. So I actually really love this one. This one is described as a frosted light beige. So I really do love the cream sheens. They don't have a super dramatic effect and they don't overpower your makeup. It's just kind of like a glossy, pretty, nude, sexy look. Definitely adds a little bit of sparkle to your look. Love the Japanese maple, it looks gorgeous. And again, it doesn't intrude with your look. The next color is called Stripped. This is a gorgeous nude color as well. They're all pretty nudes. So this one is a light, dirty, peachy beige and it is a matte color. So this kind of looks like this color I used to always wear called Peach Stock. It was literally my favorite color for like years and years and years. I do love it. It kind of brings me back throwback vibes of like when I used to wear peach sock. It's a very, very light, light, light nude color. It kind of blends in with your foundation or concealer or whatever you're wearing around your face. It has like a little peachy look. It's very subtle, like a true nude. The next color is called A Girl's Got Needs. And this one looks like a brown, kind of like a light toffee look. They describe it as a warmed toned yellow brown and it is a matte as well. A nude color and like they added a little bit of brown and like a little bit of yellow. I'm not like in love with it because it does look kind of like my bronzer. But again like nudes are really hard. It is hard to find a perfect nude so I feel like 
if you guys see this collection and see it on me and see like the different colors and stuff like that you can figure out what kind of nude looks good some people like cool tones some people like you know more of a warm tone some people like peachy some people like pink some people like you know corally I feel like this one doesn't look that good on me it kind of just blends in and it kind of disappears into my makeup like what is she wearing like you know lips so it doesn't really look that good on me the next color is called easy babe it is a matte lipstick it looks like a brown almost like an almond color they describe it as a dirty latte brown and it is a matte lipstick I like this this is giving me whirl vibes a little bit of whirl if you like max whirl it's kind of like that kind of vibe a while ago whirl sold out because Kylie Jenner was always wearing like this brownie nude which was whirl it is definitely like a latte look I guess it's like in the middle like a brown like latte I do like it the next color is called age sex location oh my god ASL remember that from like chat rooms so long ago um, you guys probably don't even know ASL age sex location and this one is described as a dirty mid-tone nude for me it looks kind of like a rosy brown to me I love this one this one is like a spicy nude which I love I love this sort of like spicy look so a long time ago I used to wear like a pale pale nude like peach stock and like very very peachy and like very nude like almost like a concealer. Then I started wearing like orangey nudes and brownie nudes. After that, I started wearing more spicy, darker mauve tones and like spicy nudes. So I feel like this is like kind of like my right now nude phase. I really like it. I think this is beautiful and I like that it's matte and this is called Age Sex Location. The next color is called Among the Fireflies. This one looks like kind of a spicy nude as well. They described it as a soft mocha and it is a cream sheen. So even if the tubes look like similar colors or the bullets um, because they're different textures and different um, materials and like different look, um, they're gonna come out differently. So this is a cream sheen. So this is like a spicy brownie nude, but it is more on the glossy, shiny side because it's a cream sheen. I like how this one looks as well. I prefer more of a matte look when it comes to this sort of color but it is very beautiful and it's definitely a color that I would wear. The next color is plain koi and it actually looks like a bright pink. Yay, I feel like we were doing so many nudes and browns. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm ready for a pink color. It is a very pink nude. They described it as a pale clean pink nude and that's what it looks like. Oh, and this material is a satin. This definitely looks like a Nicki Minaj color. It is very pink and very fun. Personally, it reminds me of my Playboy Mansion days because I wore a color like this to one of the parties and I feel like it actually really matches my dress, which is lilac, but I personally don't think that I would wear this on a daily, like daily thing. It's just like, it's a lot. And I'm super tan and super like blonde that it personally on me, it's a lot. I don't really wear colors like this anymore, but it's, it's cute. It's definitely cute and it's definitely a look a moment the next color is called bosom friend and that's kind of like so bosom is like the breast so it's like breast friend I don't know it's just like a play on word I feel like bosom friend and it looks like it actually looks exactly like my nail color which is like a pale nude and Mac describes it as a sheer pinky nude with fine pearl I've been loving the cream sheens in this collection because I just feel like it's just like a perfect little touch of nude I like this nude, it's definitely a sheer pink with a pearly vibe, like a pearly touch. It is on the cool tone side, it is a light, a light, light pink. Um, it is on like the sheeny sheer side and it's just a beautiful little look. You would definitely like bosom front. The next color is called Pretty Please and it looks like it would be a light pearl pink. This is a luster lipstick. And MAC describes this as a pale pink pearl. It definitely is a pale gloss, really. It's it's very, it's very true to like, just an enhancement of your actual lips. It's cute, it's definitely cute. So the next color is called Babies All Right. It looks like a spicy brownish mauve, and it is a matte color. They describe it as a cool tone neutral pink. 
literally almost the same. Maybe that's why it's called a neutral pink because it looks like identical to my lip color. I, I do love it, but I feel like it's not that dramatic because it looks like my normal lips and I see my normal lips every day. So I'm like, wait, why does it look the same? So if you want to go for a natural vibe and not have like a shimmer or a luster, I would go with this lipstick. It is called Baby's All Right. The next color is called Patisserie and this one looks like it would be a light mauve pinky nude. They describe it as a sheer creamy neutral pink and and it is a luster. Let's see how this one looks. Right on so many nudes now. So this one literally also feels like it's the color of my lips and just enhanced my natural lip color. It kind of feels like a lip balm. Um, it's pretty, but I wouldn't buy this actually because it looks like a lip balm and it didn't really create the effect of like a lipstick. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh my gosh, like if I were to buy a lipstick, I would buy any of the other ones that have like a lot of color or an effect because this one really just enhanced my lips. It's definitely beautiful. If you're a natural kind of girl, you would like love this. If you're a natural glam kind of girl and you don't wear a lot, a lot, or don't want like a super dramatic effect, it is definitely like a natural vibe. It's definitely pretty and it feels really hydrating, which I love. The last lipstick color from this collection is called mm, like M M M M M M, and it is a amplified lipstick. And to me, it looks kind of like a purpley pink, and they describe it as a dirty rose nude. So this color is like gorge, 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 gorge. It is a rosy nude. I feel like I've tried so many nude colors. Like my brain is like, I don't even know, overwhelmed with nude. It's different from a regular nude. It is definitely a rose color and it has that little icy mauve look. It's not like a regular nude, you know what I mean? So I actually really love this one and I love the amplified textures and I love the lusters, I like the cream sheen. They're all so different and the mattes, it's so crazy because there's so many nudes in this collection. Nudes are my favorite color when I reach for a lipstick and I'm just so happy that I have more nudes to my makeup collection. So I'm gonna actually try on the lip glasses. There's two of them but I'm gonna take off my lipstick so we get a true look. So the first color, which is a N-U-D-E nude lip gloss, it's called N-U-D-E. Lip glosses always just have like this high shine. I miss it and I'm just so glad they're like back. MAC always kills it with the lipsticks. Okay, so this lip gloss, the N-U-D-E, is a, is a sheer pinky nude. It feels so nice. It doesn't feel like overly sticky. It looks so gorgeous. Honestly, I love it. Like I feel like if I were to pick anything so far, well, besides the, the Nicki Minaj lipsticks because the packaging is just too cute to actually go for this lip gloss. It's amazing and MAC always makes amazing like lip glosses. I mean, they make amazing everything, but I think lip glosses, they really kill it. They just do such a good job. I don't even want to take this color off. It's amazing. The last lip gloss that I have in my collection is called Under the Sheets. And this one is a lip gloss as well. It looks like it's a pearly pink. They describe it as a light nude with gold pearl. Okay, so now I changed my mind. I might get this one if I can only get one in this collection. It is so pretty. They're all so pretty. Like, I just love nudes. I'm ready to go out. Yes! All right guys, so that was my review, my honest review on all the colors that I have for the Nicki Minaj MAC collaboration collection. I truly love nudes like in the first place, so I liked most of the collection. Some of the colors just looked so weird on me, so like I just couldn't like them. But um, I hope you guys like this review and I hope it helped you guys determine if you wanna go get it or not. If you guys wanna go get it, I linked it below, so definitely check it out. If you guys like the items, I hope you guys get it. I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up the video if you guys like this and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about everything and if you guys like these lippies as well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you receive a notification every time I upload a video. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mwah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a makeup review on a product I just got. There's actually a lot of YouTube reviews on this product, but I am so, so excited to do this on my channel. It is the KKW Beauty Contour and Highlight Stick Kit. So I actually have the dark and the medium. I do not have the light, but these are colors that I know will fit my face.